Postenial 1 or postenial 2, emergency contraception or post pill, does it affect fertility and does it damage womb? These are the questions I frequently get from my subscribers and today I'll be talking about it. I'll be answering these questions. But before we get started, let me welcome you back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are the right place. Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification so you always get notified anytime I post a new content. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much guys. I love you all. Today, I'll be answering these particular questions I frequently get from my subscribers, which are, does postenial 2 or post pill affect fertility and does it damage womb? Let's take this one after the other. But let me remind you that post pill or emergency contraception or postenial 1 or 2, it's an emergency contraceptive that is used within 72 hours, that is three days, within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse. That is, this pills is meant only for emergency, right? And no research or study have been able to prove that this pills, the postenial damage womb. No research have been able to prove that. So I'm telling you now that postenial 1 or 2 does not damage womb. It does not lead to womb damage. It does not have any significant effect in your womb. The second question is, does it affect fertility? Postenial 2 or post P or postenial 1 can indirectly affect your fertility but it cannot directly affect your fertility i'll be explaining how this can indirectly affect your fertility postenial 2 or post pill it contains hormone called levonorgestrel this levonorgestrel works by preventing eggs from releasing from the ovaries and you know when there is no release of an egg from the ovaries, fertilization will not take place. And when there is no fertilization, there will not be pregnancy. So this is the work of this hormone present in the post or postenial. That is, it inhibits ovulation. So when you continue to take these pills every month, for instance, you take the pills this month, that is, you use it to suppress your ovulation so you don't get pregnant. The next month, you take it again, you suppress your ovulation so you don't get pregnant. A month after you do the same, continuously taking this pill can affect your menstrual cycle. If you're trying to get pregnant, you may not be able to track your ovulation because it has not been regular. Every month, there is a shift. When it's time for it to come, it might be the time you're taking the post in your tool or post, but then it suppresses it, then it has to come some other time. So this is how post in your tool can indirectly affect your fertility. Aside from that, post in your tool or post in your one or post pill or emergency contraception cannot affect your fertility. And I am not saying because this does not damage your womb and it does not affect your fertility. It does not directly affect your infertility. I am not saying you should turn it to vitamin C and start taking it at after every sex. It has its own side effect too. So it is meant to be taken during emergency. The emergency is when you have an unprotected, unplanned, unprotected sexual intercourse. That is when you're meant to take postenial 2. You can always look at other forms of contraception if you're trying to prevent pregnancy. Other than taking post pill or postenial 2 every time you have sex. I hope you find this video very helpful and I hope I'm able to answer your questions. If you find this information very helpful, kindly subscribe to my channel, like, share my video, drop your comment as well. 
i'll see you guys in my next video thank you